Hey everybody, it's Austin, and we're back with another video for the Tundra. We are installing new running boards today to replace the ones that I've had on the truck for, you know, six or eight months or something like that. And they're great. They have been super strong. They've, you know, never not worked. But the issue I'm having is the foot pad is a little bit too narrow. So when it's wet or snowy, um, I've slipped off a couple times and just really wrecked my shin on the step, which I don't want to happen. It snows here and gets slick. So I went with the uh, Go Rhino RB20 running boards and I'll open those up and show you what they look like and why I went with them. But um, they have the Linex texturing, which will help with traction. And I'm really excited for how they're gonna look. All right, so we're underneath the truck now with my already installed NFAB running boards and they only mount in three locations, two to the front of the truck and one to the rear, which has been super strong and I think they're rated at 400 pounds, which is plenty. And they've been great, but the new ones that I got mount in those locations as well as here. So it'll just be a little bit different and hopefully a little bit stronger, but the bracket themselves won't be welded to the um to the rail like it is here it'll be a you know a angled piece and then the running board will sit on top of that and will be mounted down it's a little bit different design but should work just the same so i'm gonna get this taken off so we can work on the new ones all right so now that we have the running boards off these are the brackets that will hold on the new running boards so we're gonna go ahead and get these unwrapped and set them out and see what we have to work with all right, so with all the pieces out, you can see these are the braces that attach to your truck. And they attach like this. So like imagine your truck is up here, up here, and then the running board is going to set on top of that. So this is the front of both the driver and passenger side. You can see the bolt holes are uneven, like one's down and one's a little bit higher up. Whereas all of these that for the rest of them look the same. So the front ones are different and make sure that that goes towards the front of the cab. And then these are the bolts that hold it up into the frame of the truck, which you already will have bolts in there because they're already in place, but you can use these cause that's what it came with. And then these brackets will sit, um, once you put your, once you put the running board on here, this will sit on top of it like this and you'll be able to, or like, yeah, I think it's like that, to screw into it and that's what will hold the running board down. But I will explain that a little bit better as we get closer. All right, so we're under the truck with our brackets and this is the front piece that, you know, we removed earlier. Um, or the front place where we removed the other running board from. But this is the new bracket, which is the beefier one. It's a lot thicker and it has the mounting hole here and up here, as opposed to just like two right next to each other. So make sure that one goes towards the front. And there is a little lip like this on the bigger pieces. And I've just faced that forward, like you can see here so that when you're stepping on it this direction, that lip is pushing up into the truck. So I think it'll just make it a little bit more sturdy, but I don't think it matters either way. So you just screw up in your, your new bolts and get them kind of snug, but still leave it loose so that you have a little bit of flexibility when you're mounting the running board. And then you just continue that for here. You remove these here and then the last one's down at that end. So when you're putting up your bracket, make sure that the shorter piece is going against the truck because you want the most surface area for your running board to set on. So just make sure the smaller piece goes up against here. And then I am, see how these are ovals? I am pushing them back further so I can tuck the running board in a little bit tighter to the truck because I don't want them, you know, sticking way out but this gives you a little bit of flexibility, you know, maybe an inch of wiggle room either way. So just set it however you would like.
All right, so now we get to open the running boards and see what they look like. I'm excited and hope they aren't damaged. super nicely with protective on the corners so they don't get beat up in transportation. So you can see right here this finish that's on it. You can see it's this more aggressive bed liner texturing. So I think it'll be really resistant to weather and give us some good uh, traction in the in the snow and rain. Well, we're gonna get this fully unpackaged and I'll show you what it looks like and what the next step is. All right, so we have it out and we are gonna look it over, you know, make sure there's no nicks or chips from the factory. But I think it looks pretty good and it was packaged very well. And you can see I pulled out the one that does go on the driver's side of the truck. And you know that because your Go Rhino label is going to be at the back of the vehicle. So for that to be at the back of the vehicle, it has to be on the driver's side. And we'll just go over and set this on those brackets. And, and then we'll put these up inside of the running board and screw it down to the bracket. Let me show, show you what that'll look like. Okay, so for our next step, we will take these bracket pieces and they go in here like this and they'll hold themselves against the channel there. And then your pieces you just put on the truck, you'll put a screw through the bottom of those into these pre-threaded holes. And that's what holds this down to the truck. So pretty simple, you just gotta get it on there and get it aligned and then put these where you want them and get it screwed down. So we're going to go over there and walk it over to the truck and get it set down and see where we want it. All right, so initially I told you all to scoot this up, or at least that's what I was gonna do, to kind of suck the running boards in closer to the frame of the truck. But I think that'll cause it to hit the truck, like as I was trying to set it on there. So I've re-loosened all the bolts and just slid it down. And that kind of lowers it just a little bit. And I think it'll give us a little bit more clearance to get everything set in place. So I'm gonna load it on to the brackets now and we'll see how it lines up. All right, so I'm just making sure the bottom lip of this, as you can see, the bottom lip of this, you know, is able to touch that. Um, I think I might need to bring this one up some so it's touching, but we can, we can get all of those aligned so that they're all flush with this and then we'll be able to put our brackets up in here. up in here like this and get it screwed down in place. All right, so we're gonna get this side mounted so it pulls it down 
because that looks the most level from the outside. And then we're gonna adjust the front back brackets up so that they match the bottom of this. So I'm gonna take this with the C channel facing up, slide this in here, and then put my screw in. And these are the same screws as you use to uh, mount the brackets to the truck. So if you end up getting them messed up, that's, that's okay. They're the same thing. All right. So we're going to try to make sure the front doesn't fall off as we tighten this. So, I'm just trying to align these as we go. So as you can see, we've got, we've got just a little bit of, of that one there and a little bit down there that's hanging over, but you can see there's a gap. So what we're gonna do is slide that bracket up more um, until it matches the flushness down there and we can also make and we can also get the um, you know the seam to look even across across underneath the truck so we're gonna mess with that a little bit and try to get it adjusted for my truck I will say one more thing in comparison to these NFAB running boards, the Go Rhino running boards have a lot more area for your foot because I have to basically turn it sideways to fit on here, which is fine, but not always possible. Like if you're wearing boots or what have you, but this, when I step on the back or in the back door, it feels more solid on the back, but like I can't, you know, it's, you gotta really turn my foot. It feels more solid when I stand on it than the Go Rhino does in the back. But granted, I'm uh, pushing four bills in size, so it's not probably meant to hold that. The NFAB running boards are meant for my weight, but um, the front bracket on the Go Rhinos are more stout than the back. And I think that that provides it with more strength, obviously, and that it feels super secure in the front stepping in um, to the driver's seat. So I'm really pleased with that. And one more thing to note, I didn't really review them. I might do another video on just like reviewing them, but as you can see, the back of the running boards are narrower than the front. And they're six and a half inches wide in the back, and seven and a half inches wide in the front. So it does kind of do this number, but that will help, um, you know, hopefully deploy rock chips from hitting the back, the side of the truck. Cause I have wider tires. I have a plus 25 offset, whereas the factory is a plus 60 offset, but they are pretty much in line with the tires, which is pretty cool. I think that'll help a lot and it will deter door dings because it sticks out wider than the side of the truck. So that'll be a really nice feature. I will say the dirt on there, it's gonna bother the crap out of me, but I think that might just be something I need to get used to, but I'm picky. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll uh, roll the outro right now, but thanks again for watching. Tiki, get in the truck. Tiki, come on. He just jumped over it. We were hoping he would use it. 
but I think they look they look pretty cool. Um, they're a lot wider. They give you um, quite a bit of foot space to step on as you get up in here. So you just can put your whole foot on it and pull yourself up and get in. It is more close is more closely aligned with the floor of the truck. probably about a six inch difference um, between the floor of the truck and uh, the running board. But it'll be a lot easier to stand on when we're getting in, when it's raining and snowing. And on our new truck camper, if you haven't seen it, it's right over there. Um, we have to latch down the top when we're camping. So this will allow us to stand on the running boards and latch those down and I think provide a, a little bit more security when we're stepping into the truck on those slick days. So I'll uh, show you some more pictures as we close, but thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.